Hey everyone, great to see you again. Today's video is extra special because I'm going to introduce you to an AI text-to-video and image-to-video tool that's the most powerful model out there right now. And trust me, it's incredible. Take a look at these videos. I created each one using just images. I'm talking about Polo AI. And you absolutely need to know about it because the character consistency it offers is unmatched by any other AI text-to-video and image-to-video tool. Let's talk about Polo AI's pricing options. You'll get some free credits to start with. And if you're interested in a subscription, here's what they offer. Light plan, $10 per month for 300 credits. Perfect for light usage. Plus plan, $25 monthly. Ideal for regular content creators. Pro plan, $70 per month. Best for heavy use and advanced needs. Each plan is tailored to fit different levels of usage. So you can pick the one that works best for you. Some AI video generators are great at text image and some excel at image-to-video, but Polo AI nails both. Its image-to-video feature is especially impressive, and there's an extra benefit with the text-to-video feature, which I'll reveal later in the video. Let me show you some featured videos that you'll find on Polo AI's website. These clips highlight the incredible capabilities of this model. Check it out. Here's a reference image, and beside it is the video it generated. It's amazing how accurately it brings the image to life. You'll notice both characters in this image stay consistent in the video. With other image-to-video tools, you might have seen the face change or awkward morphing around the eyes, but Polo AI keeps it clean and precise. The person in your image will look exactly the same in the video, making it a powerful tool for keeping your visuals consistent and realistic. Whether the person turns their face from left to right or right to left, their face stays perfectly consistent. No weird changes. Let me show you another example to see this in action. Here's another example for you. Check out this animation of Isaac Newton's image. As the video plays, when he turns his face to the right, you'll see no morphing, no weird changes, just perfect consistency. His face stays exactly the same. Here's another example that gives you an even better idea. Take a look at Leonardo DiCaprio's reference image here, and then see just how perfectly the video has been generated. This is so realistic, you can hardly tell it was generated by AI. Now let's see how you can use this tool and get access to it. To get started, simply go to polo.ai and sign up with your Google account. Once you're signed up, you can access either the image-to-video or text-to-video models right away. Just click on the one you want, and you'll enter the video generating workspace. First, let's start with the image-to-video model. Clicking on image-to-video brings us straight to the workspace where we can start generating videos from images. This feature essentially allows us to animate images in any way we want. All right, let me give you a quick rundown of the workspace, covering all its features and options, so you'll have an easier time navigating around. In the top left corner, we have two models and a Your Creation section. The two models are Image to Video, where we can animate an image, and Text to Video, which lets us create videos from text prompts. Any videos we generate will be saved in the Your Creation section. Next, there's a cool new feature called that End Frame. With this, we can set up a starting and ending frame and the AI takes care of animating everything in between. Moving on, there's the prompt section. Here, you can add details on how you want the AI to animate the image. Totally optional, but a great way to add your personal touch. Next up is standard mode versus professional mode. If you're after a quick, basic animation, standard mode is the way to go. It's fast and credit-friendly. For more detailed or complex animation, professional mode is perfect though it'll require more credits and a little extra time for rendering. Next is Prompt Strength, a really handy feature that's easy to use. This slider adjusts how strictly the AI follows your prompt. Moving it to the left allows the AI to be more creative and interpret the image more on its own. But if you want a precise animation based on your prompt, slide it all the way to the right. After that, there's the length setting. Here, you can easily choose how long you want your video to be. Polo AI lets you generate videos up to either 5 or 10 seconds, giving you flexible options for your animations. Finally, there's the negative prompt feature. This lets you specify elements you don't want in your video. For instance, adding words like low quality, blurred, or noisy can guide the AI toward producing a cleaner, high quality result. While it's optional, it can help refine the output, even though AI video generators are quite advanced today, making this step less necessary in many cases. All right, since we've got a good understanding of Polo AI's workspace, let's jump in and upload some images to start animating. I've picked this image to animate since it's a full, detailed image, which makes it perfect for testing. 
Now let's apply a few different prompts to see how it transforms in animation. Let's start with a simple prompt, like making the character wave their hand and say, hey. Of course, the character won't actually say hey, since there's no text-to-speech feature here. But we're using this prompt as a way to direct the AI's action. We can always add voice separately later if needed. Alright, let's start with a simple prompt, waves hand, saying hey, and see how the AI animates that. Let's kick things off in standard mode to get a quick look at the animation. Once that's done, we'll try professional mode to see how they stack up side by side. We'll set the prompt strength to 100% because we want the animation to fully follow the prompt. We'll keep the video length at 5 seconds for now, and later we'll try generating it at 10 seconds. And finally, we'll click on the create button to start generating the video. Talking about video generation speed, Polo AI usually creates videos in around 2 minutes, which is impressive. However, during peak times, it could take a bit longer. To save you some time, I've fast-forwarded this part so you can quickly check out the final result. Alright, here's our finished video. Let's check it out to see how well it captured the animation we wanted. As you can see, the character's face and look are consistent, but in standard mode, the quality is a bit lower, so we lose some facial detail. Alright, let's go ahead and create another video. We're extending it to 10 seconds, adding walking forward to our previous prompt to bring in some walking animation. With everything else the same, we'll just hit create to start generating our video. Alright, here's our next video. We generated this one in standard mode as well, but with a longer 10 second duration and a few tweaks to the prompt to make the animation a bit more dynamic. Notice how the face lacks clarity, and the video quality is a bit lower since we used standard mode for this one. Let's regenerate it in professional mode to compare the quality improvement. This is the video we generated in professional mode. Notice how the face is clear and consistent, and the video quality is overall much higher. When we compare it to the standard mode version, it's clear this one stands out. Standard mode is great for basic animations, but for details like facial consistency, professional mode is the way to go. Here are a few videos I generated with different prompts to give you an idea of the animation quality you can achieve with Polo AI. Polo AI really excels at adding extra frames to videos. When you check out these samples, you'll see the impressive quality in every detail, from the clothes and face to hair and skin tones, it all comes together to look incredibly lifelike. All right, we've covered the image to video model in Polo AI so far, and now it's time to experiment with the text to video feature to see what it can do. Text to video comes with a 200 character prompt limit, offering the same standard and professional modes as we saw in image to video. You also get three main aspect ratios to work with, landscape, portrait, and square. The prompt strength and video length settings are similar here and there's a unique camera control feature to adjust the camera angles, along with an option to set a negative prompt for quality refinements. To start, we'll create a video using one of the suggested prompts. The fourth one, which describes a solitary boat in fast-moving coastal waters. Peace amidst the marine motion, caught my interest, so let's try that out first. Let's stick with the standard mode for this round and save the professional mode for later. We'll set the aspect ratio to 16 by 9, keep the prompt strength at 100%, and the video length will be 5 seconds. For camera movement, we'll choose zoom and adjust the slider to zoom out. Now, let's hit create to generate our video. The video took less than 2 minutes to generate, so I skipped that part. Now, let's play the video and see how it turned out. I think the video was generated nicely, with the AI closely following the prompt. The quality is a little lacking though, because we use standard mode. Now, let's give professional mode a try and see how the same video looks. I skipped the time it took to generate the video again, and now let's see how the video turned out in professional mode. Now, let's take a look at a side-by-side -side comparison of both videos. The one generated in professional mode is much better, with a more cinematic camera movement. Up next, we'll enter our own prompt and generate a new video to see what we can create. So, there's a feature called Generate with AI that I haven't tested yet. Let's try it out and discover what it has to offer. It's asking us to share something about our video. I have a prompt ready that I'd like to use, and here it is. A lone sailor stands on a ship's deck at night, battling intense rain, fierce winds, and massive waves. Lightning illuminates the dark storm clouds as he grips the railing tightly. So that's the prompt. 
Now, let's click on continue and see what the next option is. OK in the next step, we have three generated prompts. The first one seems solid, so let's select it and move forward, and we'll keep the video generation mode set to professional. The aspect ratio remains at 16 by 9. Now, we've set the prompt strength to 100%, and the video length is at 5 seconds. Just a note, in professional mode for text-to-video, we can't adjust the camera movements, but that's not a problem. Let's click Create and check out how the video generates. Alright, here's the video it just created for us. Let's hit play and check out the quality, and see how well it followed our prompt. This video came out nicely, but I was expecting it to include some lightning effects. Let's try generating another one without the Generate with AI option. Then we'll compare both videos and bring this video to a close. Our video's been generated. Let's hit play and check out the results. Still no lighting effect, but hey, AI is evolving quickly, so it's only a matter of time. Both videos turned out really well. Take a look at these videos I created with the text-to-video model. They'll give you a solid sense of the animation quality and realistic effects Polo AI can deliver. So that's how you can use Polo AI and explore its amazing features. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.